Welcome back. This is still Politics HQ right here on New Central Television. The show continues. Uh, the federal government on Tuesday uh, applied to withdraw the charges. That's today. The charges of illegal possession of firearms filed uh, against the uh, embattled suspended governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Gordon Emefiele, um, the director of public prosecution at the federal um, Ministry of Justice, Mohamed Bakoro, who represented the federal government and approached the federal high court in Ikoi with an oral application, said the withdrawal followed the result of further investigations. Now, Abu Bakar, however, disclosed that the said fresh charges with 20 counts had been filed against the Mayfield at the federal high court Abuja. Um, Emefiele's counsel, Mr. Joseph Daudu, SAN, uh, however, opposed the application. He argued that the federal government uh, was in disobedience of the court's order, granting Emefiele bail and therefore should not have its application entertained uh, by the court. The federal high court in Lagos will on Thursday rule on the application for withdrawal of uh, the initial charges. Uh, today on Politics HQ, we seek to understand the implications of these developments. Our guest tonight will be joined by Ivan Sofeli, who is a legal practitioner. He's based in Lagos. Ivan, thank you very much for your time and good evening. Thank you. Good evening. All right. So uh, as we understand it, um, the federal government, as represented by the council, the director of public prosecutions at the Federal Ministry of Justice, uh, Mohamed Bakoda Abubakar, um, is asking the court, number one, um, to allow it drop the initial two-count charge against Emir Fili, um, to which the, um, the counsel to Emir Fili, Joseph Dowdo SEN, is, is opposed. And he's saying that the uh, judge should not allow them to drop the charges. What we're hearing from um, the DPP, Mohamed Bakoda Abubakar, is that they filed uh, a fresh 20-count charge against Emir Fili at a federal high court in Abuja. Um, um, as far as you're concerned, can... Can this fresh 20-count charge be filed? We, we're here. We're not going to talk about the substantive matter of the case before um, um, my Lord, the Honorable Justice, Nicholas Ovebo. Um, but just for legal education and understanding, you know, what is already in the public domain, um, as far as the law goes, can, can a lawyer file a charge over uh, an individual who is uh, trial in another court over something that is similar? Yeah, um, the the charges that were preferred against him, uh, the fresh charges, uh, is one that the prosecution have a right under the law to do, but it must be based on uh, merits. I mean, the charges must not be frivolous because, for once, we have seen that uh, the two count charges preferred against him before now were shrouded with so much. Um, uh, issues that the, for the public were surprised, uh, even the courts, as at the time the allegations were leveled against him, and as at the time they came up with uh, the charge in question, it was like uh, the whistle and the hula baloo that uh, uh, preceded the charge was one that came with uh, a pinch of salt because two count charges on uh, illegal possession of arm and all that was a far cry from the kind of allegation they had leveled against it before the, those charges were preferred. Now, they're asking the court they want to withdraw those charges. Um, even when those charges were preferred against him, the DSS did not even act rightly because they were in contempt of court on, on, on so many issues. And now they say they have, they want to withdraw the two-count charge, and now they want to you know, prefer 25 count charges, to 20 uh, count charges against him. The details of the new uh, charge have not been made public, uh, so we cannot discuss the details of those charges. But what I see here is that um, the truth is that if the charges are not watertight, if they do not hold proper uh, legal grounds to incorporate the methodic, it will invariably mean that um, uh, a no-case submission will be brought against, against it. But in as much as we do not want to preempt um, the court, by law, the prosecutorial agencies, they have the power to tell the court they want to withdraw 
uh, certain count charges and they want to prefer fresh count charges. It's allowed under the law. Okay. Uh, but what is not allowed is where uh, it turns out that the, the, the reason or the motive for this is just to elongate uh, the prosecution of a citizen of the country and then to uh, drag him for that to ensure that uh, he is made to go through the harrowing experience of uh, a prosecution where there is nothing substantial really in the case on that reference. But as to whether they have the right to prefer those count charges, they have the right under the law to do so. Um, the defendant also have a right under Section 35 and 36 of the Constitution of the 1999 Constitution of Nigeria as amended uh, to be given adequate time and facility to prepare for defense. So as much as the prosecution have time under the law to file count charges, withdraw, refile, new, fresh, and all that, the defense also have a right under the law to be given sufficient time to prepare for defense. So uh, mm -hmm. whichever way it goes, the truth is that um, MFLA will not be convicted on frivolous charges. Uh, it's only charges that can be supported by evidence. Because when you prefer a charge against uh, a defendant and the charge is not backed up by evidence, um, in law, it is said that such charge has failed against the defendant. Mm -hmm. And when it fails against the defendant, then they, um, it will go all down to the last of it. Whichever one that succeeds, that is the one that uh, co uh, conviction will be based upon. It is not enough to prefer 20 count charges. The question you should ask yourself for that is, these 20 count charges, do we have um, sufficient right. evidence, right. inc incorporating evidence to indict and incorporate the defendants? Okay, uh, uh, very interesting. Uh, Ivan, so wh what do you make of the fact that, you know, the, the judge, the same judge, or the judge, his lordship, Justice Nicholas Ovebo, whose um, order of bail was flouted by the SSS um, so publicly, though they gave reasons and they said they are justified. We'll get to that in a, in, a, in a matter of minutes. But this is the same judge before whom the SSS is now saying, yeah, please allow us to um, drop these charges. We are also appealing the bail and all that. They have to go before him. Allow us to go take this man to Abuja so we can face, face these fresh charges. He said it's allowed in under law. That's fine. But in, in, in Nigerian law, you know, does or do their previous actions of um, disobeying the court order on that day, does it count against them as they go before the Lord, the Honorable Justice uh, Nicholas Obebo? Yes, it, it will count against them to the extent that, to the extent that the defendant takes an action to bring a contempt proceeding before the court. Okay, is it contempt, even though the court can swore more to under the law, so accuse, uh, a party for committing contempt ex coche faria or contempt in coche faria. The, the truth is that um, um, contempt generally, uh, the party so affected, the party so injured, um, uh, is expected to move against the contempt law, that is the party who is in contempt, by filing the necessary legal processes to let it, to inform the court officially that a party is in contempt of court. But where there is no processes filed, the court also have a, dis a discretion to, you know, um, do that so much on its own discretion. But uh, uh, largely, the laws will not enforce itself. If someone is in contempt, the right thing to do is for the adverse party uh, the, to make an application to that effect, to make sure that the contempt law gets uh, punish you. The court is not going to rely on what uh, uh, it was told or the stories in the public domain to determine who is contemptuous or not. The court will wait for the party that was injured to bring that action before it, file the necessary forms and then follow up by the necessary motion to ensure that um, uh, the court hears that contempt proceeding. I don't know whether there's any contempt proceeding emanating from the defense counsel, that is the counsel of uh, MFL to, to this. Uh, if there's any, if there's none, uh, the court can as well move on by granting uh, the prayers of um, the prosecution to withdraw the two current charges against him in Lagos and then to accept uh, for it to, for the prosecution to prefer 20 current charges for him to be tried in Abuja 
uh, to that effect. They, 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 they are proper before the law, except that the prosecution is not um, it's not very organized in its uh, in this uh, prosecution against Emefili. Uh, we have seen a lot of lapses. We have seen a lot of uh, uh, lack of due process, uh, which you ordinarily count against them. And um, these are bad precedents in our judicial system, for which um, uh, lawyers, judges, um, commentators have cried out that uh, the DSS or the prosecution in the case under reference should not be allowed to uh, violate the law, uh, and then uh, you know uh, make it difficult for the defense to to make up their case in, in the case under reference. It is important that uh, the prosecution must stay within the bounds of law. And that is the right thing to do, to enable the defense. I mean, what you do in criminal prosecution is that you prosecute a suspect. You don't persecute. You are not allowed to persecute. You are allowed to prosecute. So that prosecution is what we are looking for. But what we seem to be getting here is that people at uh, the prosecution want to persecute the defendants. And that is wrong under the law. It should not be condoned by anyone. All right. Very interesting, uh, Ivan Saufeli. Let's, um, I want to take your opinion on what uh, led to the two counts of illegal possession of firearms and live ammunition being withdrawn. In favor of this uh, fresh 20-count charge, what, do, in your opinion, led to that? We know that the federal DPP, uh, in person of Mr. Mohamed Abubakar, uh, while making an oral application for the withdrawal of these charges before the Lord Rainbow Justice of Abel, he said that the application was informed by fresh facts or emerging facts that needed further investigation. Do, do you suspect uh, Evans, are there further or other reasons behind this move, other than what the they, they, federal DBP is saying? Yeah. They, they, they will definitely come with reasons like this. Uh, they will come with uh, reasons that are persuasive and convincing to the court to say that there's an emergence of fresh facts uh, which they have uncovered through uh, investigation. But they will not tell you what these facts are that they have uncovered. What facts have they uncovered that they could not uncover uh, since it was the, uh, uh, the charge for uh, possession of illegal arm were, were framed against him, okay? So I see a lot of unprofessionalism locked in in this case, and, and I see a lot of deceit and untruthfulness. Ivan, uh, do, 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 do you think this is um, the same thing that we saw in the case of Namdi Kano and to an extent even uh, Omo uh, which their lawyers or their legal team described as uh, delay tactics? It's, it's in the semblance of that. It has always been the stock in trade of uh, uh, prosecution. Government uh, prosecutor to, you know, uh, either delay, uh, take on due advantage of uh, uh, the powers that is bestowed on them as the federal government in court to make a lot of issues. Like, you know that the federal government does not pay costs in court. Most of the penalty that apply to private lawyers do not apply to uh, government lawyers because um, they will not pay costs because they're federal government and the rest of that. And that abuse of um, judicial practice is spiraling down and affecting the judiciary uh, in, in ways that um, uh, is not palatable at all. Uh, when you say because of the emergence of fresh fact, then you have uh, you you want to withdraw the two count charges. This was the, this was the two count charges that you told the world that you found uh, uh, him with firearms and at the firearms, he illegally acquired them. And therefore, you are going to prosecute him on the strength of those two firearms. And uh, now, those two charges, now you are saying you want to withdraw. Uh, if you believe that uh, possession of illegal firearms is an offense under the law, why are you withdrawing it? Why are you calling for 20 counties uh, that you are not even sure about? What are these okay, count yes. charges? Well, fairly, because uh, of time, because of time, please let me just ask you if, uh, this question because I really want to take uh, uh, your thoughts on it. Um, the the agency had previously applied an uh, ex party uh, at a federal high court in Abuja, that's FCT, uh, presided over by Justice Edward Okpe, uh, for an order uh, to further detain a Mayfield ex party order. This was um, on July 27, two days after Justice Nicholas uh, Obebo ordered the release on bail of a Mayfield on July 27. They went there. On July 20, on July 25, sorry, they made the application before the FCT High Court on July 27. Now, this application was denied by, and the federal government approached a magistrate court where an order was obtained. 
what are your thoughts very quickly on the use of magistrate courts for the case for cases like this? Is there a question of jurisdiction here? Yeah, well, well, the, you can actually procure um, an order from a magistrate court to uh, extend uh, the stay of uh, a, a defendant or a suspect. Uh, but that that right, okay, that right to procure that order is largely abused. Uh, it is only uh, it's supposed to be used when. Um, the 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 prosecution or the police investigating officer have not been able to uh, get through investigation based on restrictions right. or certain uh, submerging okay. constituencies. They have not been able to get through. That is when they take that so that they will preserve the a citizen's rights, fundamental rights, okay. and then use a court order to extend investigation and all that. But all this right. is what you find is. The, the, the uh, prosecutors now use it to uh, elongate and uh, torture. Okay. E Evans Ophelia, I'm so sorry. We, we are out of time. We have to go, but I want to thank you very much for your time. This uh, uh, Emefile case is quite uh, interesting. There are lots to look at. And you've so eloquently answered um, the questions as we just seek to understand the legal implications. Not basically to, sub to discuss a substantive matter which we've successfully uh, stayed away from. Ivan Sufeli, legal practitioner based in Lagos, thank you very much uh, for your time. You're still watching Politics HQ. It is now time for me to give you something to chew on after this timeout.